Hello everyone! It is Quest. And Venmar. <laughs> As usual. <laughs> Yo. Uh, yep. um, today we want to show you how you make a moving furry tail. Yeah, one of those nice flexible... So, all what you need for the furry tail is fur, a swimming noodle, a coat hanger, mm -hmm. some razor blades, and a big knife. And a big knife, yes. I always <laughs> take the bigger ones. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> it's always good to have a bigger one. So, the big knife, you need this one for cutting the swimming noodle in little round pieces. Little sections. Cut it like you would a cucumber. Yes. After <laughs> what? <laughs> after this one, uh, after you, you put your... Uh, you... you take a coat hanger. Mm -hmm. You have to straighten it out because that's going to be the base in a way for your tail to give it the shape you want and whatever. So you take that and you start pretty much stabbing your little pieces of cucumber into <laughs> the metal piece. Yep. By cucumber I mean your little styrofoam pieces of your swimming noodle. Ew. So, yeah. After this one, when you're uh, done with putting all your cucumber slices on the metal, you don't forget it has to be straight. It not has, it not has to be perfectly st one straight line, but try to make it as straight as possible. Like if you were doing a barbecue, you know, putting all the little things on your little brush yes. you know to grill on top of your yeah in the end <laughs> take the bottom one uh, bottom part and the end uh, bottom and end part is that right yeah the yeah. end part of yeah. your ha coat hanger and so the start and finish and, all and all. put this in the last piece one so that they can't move somewhere yeah you make a little angle you normally it's straight you know once you have all your little pieces and then you just do a little 90 degree angle so that they can't come off anymore Yo. After this, when you're done with this, you just take your big sausage of cucumber, sticky, barbecue thing, put it on the fur, <coughs> sorry, put it on the fur, roll it, and then you just cut the fur. Always yeah. leave, uh, I will say, three centimeter extra, because if you make it too tight, you will not get it in there anymore. Yeah. That sounds so wrong. <laughs> that sounds so wrong. It's all good. We're That's what she we're, says. We're talking of furries. Here, yeah. So. so after this, when you're done, take the fur, sear it together. In the end, when you want to sear the bottom part together, be careful. You have to watch where the fur is going, because in the, the yeah, the, the direction of the fur. If you make the wrong uh, part, well, it, it will look, look good. Yeah, it will look shit because I mean, will look. What is wrong with your fur? Why is it growing upwards and not down? Yeah, yeah, you so, have to look at, you know, if you don't know what direction fur goes, just just go look at an animal. Yeah. <laughs> just go look at the animal, look in which way the fur is going, and do it like that. And after this, when you're done with just sewing all the parts together, just take, uh, putting your cucumber thingy in the fur, just cut a little bit on the, on both sides, left and right, and, yeah, take a belt, glue it on there, and then take those two stripes and glue it on the belt. And but don't glue everything together, mm -hmm. because it's gonna be uncomfortable having this full fur knot in your back. It's just that everything is tight on your body, and that the belt and the tail is one thing, and it moves better. Because when it's not attached to your body, it will not move as good. Mm -hmm. So yeah, and and you have to have something to attach it to, anyways. So yeah. So yeah, that's that's how you make a fast moving tail. Of course, there are better ways to make a moving tail with real metal skeleton and all this, but this is one of the easiest way to make a furry tail because it just takes one hour, one I and a like half these. hour. They're very bouncy. Yeah, they're and you nice. can make them really fast, and they're good. Yeah. They 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 do uh, do your job good. Yeah, you could do everything you want with them. You could twerk with them. You could cook with them. You could run with them. <laughs> you could dance with yeah. them. And we've, we've done parade with them and so so yeah. conventions they were good they're nice. and after this when you're just done with everything you can just put them in the direction you want they yeah. stay in this position and after this you can just move your ass like you want and like we show you dance the night away and yeah so you can have fun with your tail yeah so you could curve it you can make it straight you can make it wiggly if you want kind of like a little you know, wavy. <laughs> you do whatever you want with it. Ew. It's great. So that's it for today. That was how to make a moving tail. We hope we could help you with this one. 
Yes. And yeah, tomorrow we're gonna make a small video about our bonus, what we tell, told you in, uh, to yesterday. Yes, I think you guys will like this. Yes. So... I would, I would be pumped about it. <laughs> I want this. Stay tuned, and <laughs> we will see you in the next video then. Which is tomorrow, normally. Yep. See you guys tomorrow! Bye-bye! <laughs>